Welcome to Struggling to Succeed. My name is Stephen and on this channel we discuss business philosophy and personal development techniques. This week we'll be reviewing some mushroom tea from the guys over at Four Sigmatic. If this is your first time watching this channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. My mission here is to deliver you bite-sized videos helping you start your journey off success. Mushroom tea from the guys at Four Sigmatic. Well, this isn't your magic mushroom tea. This is more tea for helping you concentrate, helping you relax, and helping you be more cognitively switched on. This tea is usually based around lion's mane. There is a number of different flavors from the guy over at Four Sigmatic, but today I'll be talking about my favorite one, which is this guy. It's the lion's mane elixir. Really, really cool. Uh, some of you might have already come across this brand because Tim Ferriss does mention it and has a uh, sort of a uh, nootropic or a video online that talks about what he uses to stimulate himself and he mentions his Four Sigmatic. This is where I first heard of the company and was interested in trying it out. This video isn't really going to be about diving into the science behind it. This video is really a straightforward review. Does it work? In my struggling to succeed journey, I am always looking for ways to increase my productivity, give me a little bit of focus, add a tool to my toolbox that allows me to outperform people around me or allows me to concentrate on tasks that I need to complete in a short period of time. I have tried nootropics in the past, I have tried different kinds of coffee, I have tried drinking more water. So inevitably, inevitably, I have come around to trying this mushroom tea. Now, on Tim Ferriss's video, which I'll put a link below, he talks about this tea lighting him up like a Christmas tree. I personally didn't find that myself, but I know that drugs and these types of uh, supplements or whatever you want to call them, uh, mushrooms all the way through the nootropics, affect everybody differently. Everybody has a different system. What I did find about this mushroom team, and specifically the Lion's Mane Elixir, is it gave me a really warm feeling. It really was like having a nice warm cup of tea on a cold winter's day that just made you feel good. On the box, it says, give your brain a hug. And I actually couldn't come up with a better way to describe how this mushroom tea made me feel. It just made me feel happy and content and allowed me to focus on things. I have now bought a couple of 20 sachet boxes of the Lion's Mane Elixir, and I've been using it probably now for the last six months. And I can tell you, I really do enjoy using it, and I highly recommend it. If you have some work to do later in the night, and you have one of the, you're one of those people like myself that can't sleep if they have tea or coffee later in the day. This is where this these drinks or this tea from Four Sigmatic really, really kicks in, uh, especially this Lion's Mane one. I love drinking this later in the day. It lights me up a little bit, not like a Christmas tree, but definitely clears away a little bit of a fog, gives me a little bit of a, a boost where I kind of say to myself, let's go get some stuff done. Gives me a little bit of extra sort of flow, things are connecting a bit better, allows me to connect the dots, get some work done. And just generally, I've used it in a, in a way to sort of drinking it and then doing something. It's almost become a little bit of my, my mind, and my body knows it's about to go and do a task for an hour or 90 minutes because I'm making myself this tea, pouring myself the tea, drinking it, and while I'm drinking it, I think about what I'm about to do and then I get started into that task and I will either keep drinking it while I'm doing the task or finish it and, and go out and do it. One of the other ways that I've actually used it is about an hour before sports. I play soccer, football, and I've actually found uh, or I've tried different ways to 
sort of get my brain sort of awake before going to play soccer, give me a little bit of a cognitive boost. And I've actually found that where it, it, it might not give you that like energy of a Yerba Mate tea or some sort of like energy drink where you got lots of energy. What I do find with it is it, it, as mentioned before, it does sort of clear a little bit of a fog. It does make me think a little clearer. You know, it gives my brain that kind of hug, makes me feel a little better. And I've used it about an hour before going to play soccer and I've actually found my concentration levels a little higher while in that sort of competitive competitive environment while having to think because soccer is a game and, and, and other sports where you have to cognitively be aware and when you start getting tired having that little bit of extra boost to your brain allowing you to think a bit a bit clearer allowing you to maybe uh, make the right decisions uh, a little bit longer into your game than you normally would i definitely find it useful for that so if you have got some sort of sport, you're going for a run, you're doing a 5K, you're going mountain climbing or bouldering, or you're doing something where you just want that little bit extra, that little switch on, and you want to be able to think a little bit longer than normal before your lungs give in, I recommend giving this tea a try for that as well. It's worked for me. It's worked for me for doing tasks. It's also worked for me in that sense before sport, just to give my brain that extra boost. I will put some links in the notes for anybody who wants to dive a little bit deeper into this product. I will try to put some positive and negative reviews in there for you to have a look at. I don't want to come across like I'm selling you a product. This is just a tea that I have tried, used and enjoyed. And if you are looking to add a little bit extra into your life, into this kind of like realm of trying to get stuff done and looking for something different than a caffeine or a Red Bull or one of those other horrible sports drinks, highly recommend that you pop onto Amazon and you purchase it. Give them a go, see what you think and get some stuff done. Enjoy your mushrooms. Well, that's it from me this week. I hope you enjoyed the journey, the trip this week, our mushroom trip. If you did, please go ahead and hit the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you can follow along and get lots more content on my struggling to succeed journey. Thanks very much for watching. Hope to see you next week. And as always, make it a good one.